you about one of the president's other tweets this weekend. He, he, he took a video or, or, or retweeted a video of a caravan of people driving into Portland with Trump and American flags flying. He called them great patriots. What about that image does the president see as patriotic? And ostensibly, you're talking about people going into a city in which they don't live, presumably to protect property they don't own. What's patriotic about that activity? The president was highlighting that these were good Americans going in to peacefully um, be a part of a protest and show their voice. Um, and, you know, that's what he was noting by the tweet and highlighting the video, which he routinely does. What about the video of them scuffling, shooting paintballs at people, getting in the mix with, with people? Is that patriotic activity? I don't think the president's seen that video, nor have I. But if you're going to ask about paintballs, it's incredible that for 90 days I've stood at this podium talking about officers who have been lasers flashed in their eyes in an attempt to blind them, commercial grade fireworks being thrown at them, a church right out here burning down, uh, the people that were harassed and yelled at, Senator Rand Paul, Dan Bongino right out here. And you're going to ask me about a paintball video when in fact for 90 days we've seen horrific horrific violence by Antifa, a radical anarchist organization. I mean, you're going to ask me about a paintball video I've yet to see, and neither is the president. Fantastic. I'm going to ask you about it, but you, you maintain that that's the, 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 the people who went into the city to conduct that activity, they the are The president's patrons. never seen that video. I don't even know if the people that you're referring to were a part of the paintball activity. But um, look, there's been 90 days of violence from left-wing anarchists. Um, and it's incredible that today is the one time you're interested in a violence when it's paintballs, and we don't even know who set off these paintballs, but you fail to ask for 90 days about violence from an anarchist organization because it happens to be on the left. Francesca. You mentioned the person who was killed in Portland last weekend. He was a Trump supporter. Does the president feel like Portland right now is too dangerous for his supporters? Should they stay away from the city? Um, the president believes that people of all ideologies should be able to peacefully protest and not have their lives uh, put at risk, like Aaron J. Danielson, who lost his life. Um, noteworthy that his suspected killer said he was, quote, 100 percent Antifa and ready for, quote, war. Unacceptable. Welcome yes. back, everyone. After watching that, I feel like I need to go through this guy's line of questioning just to show how utterly absurd it is. So, number one, his implication seems to be that there's something wrong with American citizens driving their vehicles with American flags or Trump flags through Portland. That doing so is actually in itself some sort of a violent action that's over the line or somehow unlawful. It's not. Those people had every right to drive through Portland with American flags or Trump flags if they want. The people who are attacking those people are the ones in the wrong. There's nothing legitimate about throwing rocks at cars from overpasses or blocking traffic or shooting at Trump supporters or just straight up executing them like what happened on Saturday night. Two, he suggests without basis whatsoever that these people were coming to protect property. As I understand it, it was always just a caravan that was going to drive through the city. There is absolutely nothing wrong with doing that. Again, especially when the people he's running cover for are literally trying to kill Trump supporters. Three, and this was the worst part, I think, he then suggests that these American citizens were not patriotic because they were shooting paintballs at these violent mobs. What he doesn't tell you is that these people were shooting paintballs and using tear gas as self-defense from these violent Democrats who were blocking the roads and attacking the cars. Like Kaylee, I'm just flabbergasted that this is what these people choose to be outraged about these political operatives pretending to be reporters. Paintballs. A Trump supporter was literally executed for wearing a Blue Lives Matter patch. Drivers were assaulted with rocks from overpasses as they drove by. That's deadly and it's attempted murder. Some of the BLM and Antifa members were actually cheering on the murder. Others calling for the murder of white people and police. And I got to say, God damn it, if you kill one of us, it's time for us to kill one of yours. But the paintballs. I'll tell you what, I'm glad that we have Kaylee up there fighting these partisan hacks because quite frankly, their gaslighting has officially become a dangerous threat to the average American citizen. Before we end, I'd like you to take a quick moment to hear about this special offer for my subscribers from my Patriot Supply. When you see what's going on in our country right now, there's plenty to be concerned about. Social unrest is making life very uncomfortable and it could quickly get worse. These are realistic dangers, so don't let yourself be caught unprepared. Here's what to do right now. 
Go to www.preparewithdronetech.com and start building your emergency food supply today. The experts at My Patriot Supply are the only people I trust and use. And right now, you can save $100 off a full four-week supply of delicious, nutritious meals the whole family will love. My Patriot Supply makes it easy to be prepared at all times. And saving $100 off a life-saving four-week supply of food is too good to pass up. The second half of 2020 is going to be wild. So go to preparewithdronetech.com and get ready right now. That's preparewithdronetech.com. Do it now.